From bright red beetles, to yellow and black flies, to moths with big spots on their wings. These bugs are all mimics. Unlike some animals who use camouflage to blend into their surroundings, mimics do the opposite. They stand out on purpose. Because sometimes going big, bold, and bright is exactly what's needed to survive in this wild world. There are three different types of mimicry in the bug world. Some mimics use their appearance to tell predators in no uncertain terms, back off or else. This warning system is called Mullerian mimicry. Take the yellow and black stripes on many bees and wasps, for example. A naive young predator might learn the hard way that bright colors and stripes mean big stings. So they just avoid the pain next time, to the benefit of all the other bistriped bugs that predator encounters. The color red also often screams, eat me and regret it. But it's not always stings that cause pain for a misguided predator. Both ladybugs and these fireflies have chemicals in their bodies that make them taste awful. So predators have evolved to know that when they see red, it's best to leave it alone. But where Mullerian mimics make good on their colorful threats, another kind of mimic is all bark and no bite. Batesian mimics piggyback on the warning system used by their stinging or gross-tasting neighbors, but they're faking it. Like these hoverflies, or syrphids, who look like stinging wasps and bees. Except, these flies don't have stingers at all. But if you're a bird looking for a tasty meal, why take the chance? Look closer at the flowers in the garden, and you'll start to see how successful this strategy can be. Many of those bees and wasps are actually flies in disguise, holding would-be predators at bay by looks alone. And then there's a third type of mimicry, one that confuses and misdirects. This is auto-mimicry. The lower outer edge of a gray hair streak butterfly's wings look like another butterfly head. Probably better to lose a chunk of your wing to a predator than your actual head. And the big spots on this moth? They can flash them out to confuse a predator into thinking something much bigger and more dangerous is staring back at them. With luck, these eye spots might startle a stealthy predator into abandoning an attack because they think they've been spotted by spots. Whether a real warning, a bluff, or a fake out, mimicry in the bug world is a successful tactic. So next time you spot a bug, look closer. Maybe it's not what you think. <laughs>